achieve here. Of course you can draw arrows and you can draw multiple states, but to actually involve yourself in the, the, the exploration of, of interaction, for me, needs to have a medium that is uh, that allows for well getting grip on behaving objects of moving objects through space uh, my name is Joop Frens I'm uh, from the Netherlands I'm here for uh, this year as the as the Nirenberg chair my home university is uh, Eindhoven University of Technology. What is crucial for me uh, in teaching uh, cardboard modeling is not so much that it is about how to cut cardboard, but particularly how uh, to design with the techniques that I teach. So I try to always um, uh, emphasize the, the, the skills, but also how it can be an instrument for design. Feel is uh, is valuable for students is to have a sort of repertoire of skills rather than just one way of expressing themselves. Um, cardboard modeling provides new insights into uh, or new inroads into the solution domain of designing for interaction, and then perhaps particularly designing for physical interaction. It's a way of thinking with your hands, if you will. A way of exploring that uh, offers the ambiguity uh, that, uh, that is also present in sketching, uh, that offers a, a dialogue with the material that, that, uh, that is uh, difficult to, to, to achieve uh, when just approaching these things through computers. Um, yet it provides different inroads uh, into the solution domain than sketching uh, and drawing do. I feel that, that, that that people are helped with a repertoire of skills, as I said, rather than just one single means for expression. Particularly when in school, when exploration is something that, uh, that should happen, finding your own way is something that, uh, that you have the, the, the liberty and the freedom to achieve uh, while in school. The challenge then is to find a design exercise where those skills would fit in well. And in that sense, the, the Rube Goldberg machine uh, is maybe not a product design exercise, but it is an exercise where there is manageable complexity because not everything has to happen in the confines of a, of a single product. Uh, you can spread it out a bit. Um, and, and it is an engaging, fun exercise that has a lot of lessons about uh, about interfacing different parts of of the machine everybody was responsible for three feet of rube goldberg machine that had to um, uh, meet each other at uh, at interface points i required to have uh, a human intervention in each rube goldberg machine part in each module so that uh, there was at least a little bit of uh, of, uh, of, of interaction there.